hi uh, good morning with the help of this animation let's see how a fuel injection pump works so this is a rototype uh, fuel injection pump you can see the, this movement over here and also the rotation of the rotor it's a vane type pump over there so uh, let's these are the internal components uh, this is the top view which consists of the throttle lever and this is the internal side view and this is right side view so let's uh, see how it works in detail okay so uh, these are the views as i told the top view of the fuel injection pump the front view with an internal view and this is the uh, side view okay now let's see in detail this is the rotor pump over here this is a vein type pump and you can see these are the four veins which are marked in uh, red over here and in between them there are springs these veins have been connected using springs you can see this is the casing of the rotor pump and it is connected towards this these veins are connected towards this particular uh, circular object which is uh, a bit offset from the axis the center of the axis of rotation of the casing so as you can see when uh, the rotor pump rotates these veins adjust automatically uh, when it rotates because of the spring at center it adjusts the movement right and uh, those are the injector lines uh, this is the head of the pump so from these injector lines uh, the connection is going towards the uh, fuel injectors and uh, that's the fuel in the fuel uh, is supplied from the fuel tank in to the uh, FIP or the fuel injection pump through that line and uh, that's the head of the fuel injection pump that's the rotor you can see this is a side view which showing the rotor and this is internally how it comes inside the head okay and that's the metering valve the metering valve is actually connected internally through a uh, gallery towards the rotor the movement of this metering valve uh, adjusts or controls the fuel supply uh, that's the governor weight retainer it actually looks like a flower inside it have uh, four or five uh, weight in weight retainers inside that so as it moves uh, this uh, flower closes up and opens up depending on the rpm and the demand and which push uh, this particular blue line over here which i'll be showing in the animation coming so that's the plunger uh, this plunger is connected towards uh, our rotor uh, which is connected by the drive shaft which gets its drive from the engine resulting in the rotor to rotate okay that's the drive shaft and it gets its drive from the engine it is connected towards the engine side so this is getting mounted towards the engine to get the drive for the fuel injection pump and those are the governor arms so as this uh, metering uh, this metering valve and the governor arms uh, move simultaneously uh, same way as the governor retainers move uh, with the rpm of the fuel injection pump so those is that's a throttle shaft and uh, uh, that's connected uh, actually towards uh, the accelerator pedal through an accelerator cable so when we uh, push the accelerator pedal or when we release the accelerator pedal this accelerator cable actually controls the movement of the throttle valve which gives a demand towards the fuel injection pump for creating the fuel flow so uh, uh, let's see so the drive shaft rotates how it works the fuel injection pump working has been explained now the drive shaft rotates you can see it res result in the movement of uh, uh, the governor weight retainers you can see the governor weight retainers are also rotating right now you can also see the vein uh, pump or the rotor pump is also rotating so when the governor weight retainers rotate uh, that gets its drive uh, through the drive shaft from the engine so when the rpm increases what happens is that uh, slowly these governor retainers will result to move frontwards or backwards uh, so it, it is depending upon the rpm uh, of uh, the engine that actually creates the fuel demand so at more rpm we need more fuel so you can see this metering valve is also rotating and also this particular lever which is in blue is also moving because uh, this uh, governor weight retainer is pushing it and it is connected through this ash colored uh, spring towards the metering valve and metering valve has an internal gallery connected towards uh, this green one is internal gallery which is connected uh, towards our rotor pump or the vane pump so this yellow is showing the internal view of the vane pump which is over here so the vane pump is actually supplying the uh, fuel as it rotates so the drive reaches the vane pump and the vane pump rotates and supply the fuel 
through this gallery through the metering valve and that connection is going towards the injector lines so as this uh, moves like this the metering valve moves and that gallery actually is being controlled by the demand of the rpm so that's one thing that's controlling the demand of the fuel flow towards the injectors and also when the driver is controlling the accelerator pedal uh, the cable connected towards this throttle valve also can be moved so when this uh, throttle uh, shaft or i mean this throttle connection uh, which is connected towards the accelerator uh, pedal moves it actually moves the metering valve because it is directly linked towards this governor arm just have a look at that you can see clearly over here when this throttle lever moves the governor arm moves and resultingly the metering valve also moves so that metering valve movement controls uh, the fuel supply or the gallery uh, and that much amount of fuel only be, will be supplied towards the fuel injector line so these are the two factors which are uh, helping the fuel flow in a fuel injectors it gets a drive from the drive shaft result in the vane pump to rotate and uh, the governor retainers move uh, frontwards and backwards automatically according to the rpm of the engine resulting in the governor arm to move which is thereby controlled uh, the metering valve and the galleries which supplies the oil towards injectors that's automatically how uh, the fuel demand is being sensed and when manually the accelerator is being pushed again the governor arm is controlled and the metering valve uh, is being controlled by the uh, driver that demand is also uh, taking care of this gallery which supplies the fuel through the injectors so that's simply how uh, a fuel injection pump works internally so I believe uh, you understand how a fuel injection pump works internally uh, thanks for watching this video have a great learning experience